This is uh, number seven, chapter two, number seven. I'm redoing this this video because there's a few there's a few glitches in the system in the video that I was unaware of. So uh, this is number seven on page 116 uh, as part of your lab two that I'm about to go over. Number seven states that it says write a program that prompts the user to input a decimal number and outputs the number rounded off to the nearest integer. Okay, that's uh, that's what the problem states. So I have what I've done uh, already is uh, you should be aware of is um, I have the skeleton that comes up here. What I have right here, um, and you need to put your name and your course and your section number on. on uh, on the comment section that I have right here. Inside of this, <clears throat> so as you can see, this is our basic skeleton. Inside of your int main, which is your main function, this is what your main function of your program is going to, everything will take place inside of this. So I want to talk to you about, the, uh, before we get into this, uh, let's declare some of our variables in this thing before we get too far on to this end. So this is where you would declare your variables. Uh, which is your first step on this and for this particular problem I'm just going to do very simple is to actually do double uh, number the reason I made uh, use the day type of a double with size which is a size 8 byte to this is that it prompts a user for decimal numbers I could use a float which is about a 4 byte but to get the proper nearest integer rounding off of this thing is to use the proper precision type of data type is called a double and the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to prompt the user because it says write a program that prompts the user. So we need to prompt the user. I'm going to comment out to prompt the user for information. So when I prompt the user, I'm going to do C out. I'm going to ask you to do enter a decimal number semicolon. All right, so I'm prompting the user, and right now this cursor is blinking, 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 right at the end of that space after this right here. So that's what's coming on the screen. I need to read that in. I need to read that in. If you remember, this says the C out uses the lesser than sign. The C in is the other command that we need to actually store that into the variable with this thing. Now, if you recall, our using namespace STD allows us to do the C out and also to the CN and N line are the three things that allow us to use this line right here with it. So <coughs> I'm going to need to read this in, CN, and I'm going to read in <coughs> this number. This is the variable that I'm storing. It's called <coughs> number, excuse me. It's called number. <coughs> Semicolon. So that stores that into the, mem uh, the number with this thing. Now the next step is I'm just going to, after you type in the number, you hit enter, stores that into the number. This is what we have declared and allocate the memory. This is our variable. Now the next step is we actually need to put uh, and the C out to let the user know that it's the next line. They, you know, like you type the number, you hit enter, it moves the cursor down to the next line with it. So this is kind of like a, 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 an implied programming that we actually let the user know that they type in the number with us. This is the next step. This is a very important step right here. Is the next step is to, to how do you, um, and I'm um, reading the second half of that number seven, is and output the number rounded to the nearest integer. All right. So in your book, uh, it talks about your what's called co erection type of uh, function that you're going to use is the static cast. Now, if you recall in our reading, the static cast. All right, I'm going to just going to do static underscore cast. And if you recall in your reading, this is in your reading, it says data type. This is what you want to convert to. And in between your parentheses, this is what's called the expression. All right, so let me just comment up this, this part right here when I talk about this thing. Uh, C++ has a really great way of actually how you convert data from your expression to, this is where you want to do from and two is the data type in this. So we need to basically round it off in this thing. So I'm going to see out in this. I'm going to do a, a string says the integer nearest to and then basically put in 
this is our number that you have stored, which is this number is the when you declare and allocate, it stores it into this number, which is here. So you want to put that variable. This is what's going to say in the line: the number nearest to the number. And you give it a string again. This is which is equal to. And then we're going to put the function of the static cast using this right here. Now you notice that I gave it a forward slash forward slash here. That basically is is to um, allow you to actually comment that out with this thing. Now what what is it that I want to put in here? This in here is I want it to because this in the problem says well, I'll put the number to round up to the nearest integer. So this needs to be a day type of an int. The expression in here this is this is the part where. It's, uh, you have to know how to round it off with this thing. So whatever the number that you round off, what what is that? That's your current number, this number here, which is your variable. That goes right here. And when you round off to the nearest integer, you need to add what? At 0.5 to it. That will round it off to the nearest integer. That will round off and drop off the, 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 the whatever is the decimal part and will keep the int part of this thing. So I'm gonna put a semicolon with this thing in here. So let me just explain with what we just did, just to clarify with the thing. All right, is that you will plug in the number, add five to it. So let's say the number is 2.6. All right, add five to it becomes what? 3.1, and you convert that to an int. That's just a three. Okay. So that's how you run off 2.6. Drop it off. Let's say your number is 2.0. All right. Again. You drop off, add 0.5 to it, drop it off, it becomes 2. Okay, So that's how you add off w with this thing. And you just only convert this into an int with it as well. Okay? So this, this part right here will conclude our number 7 with this thing.